In the mythical world of ancient China, a land of legendary monsters, evil witches, and sinister villains, the wise monk Tripitaka and his protector Monkey set out on a treacherous journey in search of the fabled Scrolls of Wisdom. Joined by Pigsy and Sandy, these four companions travel together through this strange and magical world, enduring perilous adventures and dangerous adversaries on their mission for the Emperor and all of China. The Legends of the Monkey King is China's greatest story. It is an expedition unlike any other ever taken. It is the journey to the West. As Tripitaka and his companions continue their westward journey, they cross the kingdom of Jisei. But arriving at the capital city, they found the streets silent and deserted. There was no one to be found anywhere. Warily, they stepped into the royal temple, only to find it too appeared to be utterly abandoned. Where are the temple keepers? I fear something dreadful must have happened here to cause them to leave. <gasps> but they haven't left, Master. Look! Huh? Two temple monks sat gagged and bound together. Huh? <laughs> what happened here? Who did this? <sighs> Whoever it was at least stopped short of doing them any harm. I fear we've a most pitiful story to tell you. This royal temple of ours used to be famous. Monks from near and far would visit here. You see, this temple is known as the Temple of Light because it contains a magical golden egg which shines with such a brilliant glow that it lights the tower at night and turns it into a beacon seen far and wide. People came from many lands to behold its light, to offer alms to the temple monks, and most importantly, to pay their respects to our much beloved king. But all that has changed now. Not long ago, a terrible misfortune struck us. One night, there was a terrible storm. Thunder and lightning swept over the land, and heavy rains pelted our temple. And somehow that night, the golden egg mysteriously disappeared. The king was furious and accused the monks of theft. He ordered the temple closed with us locked inside until we returned the egg. But none of the monks knows where it is, and so we have been locked in here for many weeks. Such injustice! <laughs> we swear our innocence to you. Don't turn your backs on us. If you agree to help us, perhaps we'll be able to discover what has really happened to the magical egg and free our fellow monks. Master, with your kind permission, I'll begin by cleaning up this temple, and at the same time, I can keep an eye out for any clues. We shall be pleased to help you solve this mystery and find the egg. Thank you. That evening, as Monkey used his magic to sweep the stairs of the temple tower, he thought he heard laughter floating down from the upper floors. So he dashed up the stairs to locate the source of the laughter. It seemed to be coming from the attic. <laughs> I'm delighted. We did a great job stealing that egg. Lord Snakehair was pleased. Yeah, he'll be even more pleased if we bring him back some more baubles. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Where'd that come from? Hang huh? on. Shh. Oh, but, but, but. Yeah. Whoa, I got it. What's all the ruckus, huh? Oh, well, call me a wide-eyed dreamer, but I have a hunch these two galoots know a thing or two about that missing egg, don't you, Master? Yeah, no, no, we don't know anything. We'll anything. take them before the king first thing tomorrow morning and see what he says. Welcome, most noble pilgrims. Thank you, Your Majesty. We may have found a clue to the missing egg. Pray, tell me. We found two very odd fish in the temple. They refuse to admit any knowledge of the egg's whereabouts to us, but perhaps they'll tell you. I want them brought before me immediately, and I want the truth! Oh, oh. 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 
on your pushes. Do you know where the egg is? Uh, it was stolen by our master, Lord Snake here, mm -hmm. and his evil sister, Lady Razorclaw. And that's the truth, Your Majesty. Hmm. They live at the bottom of Emerald Lake, Your Majesty. It's true. They live with their father, Duke Singletooth. This better be the truth, by thunder. So it is, it is, it is. I must beg help from you pilgrims in recovering this magic egg of ours. Our kingdom is a dark, unhappy place without it. I volunteer to go to Emerald Lake, along with my friend Pigsy here, to try and find the egg. Go oh, all right, but next time it has to be Sandy's turn. <laughs> so off they flew to Emerald Lake with the two prisoners. Break down, you two! <laughs> That's much better. Huh? Huh? Beneath them lay Emerald Lake in all its pristine beauty. Meanwhile, below the surface, Duke Singletooth and Lord Snakehair were discussing the egg. How oh, sure, I know stealing is wrong in principle, but this golden egg, why, it's an absolutely irresistible treasure, and what's more, we deserve it. Well, let's just hope there's no trouble because of it. <laughs> Two fish just fell out of the sky and landed at the gates! Bring them in here! They're on their way! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I know these two. They're soldiers from my own army. <laughs> What's going on here? What happened to you two? We were captured by a magical monkey who brought us here and dumped us. Monkey? Here? Relax, Zook. I hardly think some flea-bitten monkey is anything we need to be afraid of. But this is no ordinary monkey, my dear Lord Snakehair. He has quite extraordinary powers. I live in fear of no furry creature. I shall defeat him easily. Oh, I hope so. Lord Snakehair shot to the surface of Emerald Lake. Oh, I shall destroy you, monkey! Well, you're welcome to try, but it'll take more than the likes of you to defeat me. No one taunts me and lives to tell the tale. You need to be taught not to take things that don't belong to you. I fail to see how that is any business of yours. Down went Pigsy to the bottom of the lake. <laughs> Have you seen the new prisoner? What a funny looking fish! But he's not a fish at all, he's a pig, silly. Don't you know anything? Having transformed himself into a crab, Monkey scuttled off to rescue Pigsy. Pigsy, we've got to find oh. that egg! Cut me down and I'll try to lure Lord Snake here to the lake surface. Meet me up there in a few minutes. Bye! The monkey won't dare give us any more trouble. Now that I've got his porcine friend dressed up like a big sausage. <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah. Well, I'm not the push over you thought I was, am I? Hi. <laughs> I want that golden egg back right now! Use a little more respect when you speak to me, boy. <laughs> Why should I be respectful when I'm speaking to an ordinary thief? <laughs> a little rusty there, aren't ya? Oh, no. <laughs> miss me, you miss me! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to give up, or do you want to be completely stripped of your dignity? Uh, I'm too old for this nonsense. <sighs> That takes care of the father. We just have to deal with the son and daughter. Oh, let's take it easy. Why go to all the trouble of fighting them when I can get the egg by trickery? Duke Singletooth may have caved in, but those two are no match for us. <laughs> Come now, Lady Razorclaw, you must relax. How about some dumplings, my dear? Take them away. Perhaps a cup of tea will calm your nerves. Leave me alone! What's the matter with you? We're giving the egg back. Everyone's calling my father a thief. <laughs> Who cares if they call him a thief? 
In my book, that's a great honor. Not mine. I'm giving it back. I forbid you to do such a foolish thing, and I don't want to hear it mentioned ever again. Understand? I've got the egg, and I'll decide. Oh, what? You dare defy me? Give me that egg! Give it to me, I tell you! Let go! Pixie, cunningly disguised as a servant girl, grabbed the egg and a dumpling. This should fool him! You drop this, you... Uh, hey! Now I have the egg! Pixie knew he'd better leave quickly before his trick was discovered. Still, he could not resist having a look. The glow of the egg was tremendous. Now, now, everything will be okay. Huh? Lord Snakehair realized he had been duped. <laughs> I got it! Look! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> oh, all right, you win. Take your egg and leave us alone. <laughs> I apologize for doing wrong. The egg was just so beautiful that I could not resist. Hmm. Now let this be a lesson to you. Cheaters never prosper. And it was. Neither Lord Snakehair or his sister ever went near the temple again. As for the egg, it was returned in a solemn ceremony attended by the king of Jise himself. Tripitaka was given the honor of putting the egg in its rightful place at the top of the tower. The Temple of Light shone once more with a mystical glow for which it was famous. Once again, the four companions left the country they had just passed through a happier place than it had been when they arrived. As Tripitaka and his companions continued their journey to the west, they crossed a beautiful land where a great river flowed. They did not know it, but this land was ruled by the evil Yellowbrow, who lived in a magnificent temple called Ye Ling. Look, friends, it's beautiful. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. Oh. Ah. That temple may be glowing because wise and honorable monks live in it, or it may be glowing for a very different reason. Something tells me you're suspicious, monkey. Why else would the temple be glowing the way that it is? It could be that there's someone evil inside the temple who uses trickery to make it glow to entice travelers and then capture or rob them. You say there could be someone evil in the temple, monkey, but is there? To tell the truth, I don't know. Still, it is a possibility. It's also possible that the glow comes from a huge oven baking dumplings. There's only one way for us to find out, and that's to go and have a closer look. Come on, then. Yeah. Ah. I see nothing suspicious. In fact, the temple seems to be a haven of peace. It seems peaceful enough, maybe even too peaceful. Look, the name of the temple is inscribed over the entrance. It is called Yi Ling. I've heard of this place. Legends say the forest Buddha lives here. Uh, uh. My friends, mm -hmm. shall we go in? Monkey, what do you think? I can't quite say why, but I have a bad feeling about this place. So. Then you don't think that we should go in? It's my sixth sense, Master. I don't know why, but I think there's danger in that temple. Of course, it's your decision, ultimately. I've learned to trust your instincts, old friend, so we'll continue our journey without going inside. I am the Forest Buddha. Please come in. The Buddha himself is inviting us in. It could be a trap. Hmm. Hmm. Now, Monkey, I think it's rude to talk that way. We have to accept the Buddha's invitation. Who knows? He may give us food. Sandy, while we go in, you stay out here in case there's trouble. Yes, Monkey. And so Tripitaka, Monkey, and Pigsy entered Ye Ling Temple. Little did they realize that the Buddha sitting before them was actually the evil Yellowbrow in disguise. Monkey, are you refusing to kneel in my presence? Monkey, please do not embarrass me. 
Honored pilgrims, your westward journey has made you famous throughout the world. I have decided to give you one of the books of wisdom that you seek. This is Roundback, my assistant. He will now present you with a box which contains the book. <sighs> pilgrims, that box is made of sapphire. It is a treasure of great value. It is not the box that's precious. It is the book inside the box, for in that book is written the wisdom of the ages. You are quite right. Now open the box. Tripitaka did as he was told. However, inside the box was no book, but a sleeping potion. The monkey is still awake! Somebody get him! Who are you? I am Yellowbrow! While Yellowbrow and Monkey struggled, Yellowbrow's guards were taking Tripitaka and Pixie into captivity. Come on, let's go! Yeah, come on! Go. Monkey escaped from the temple with Yellowbrow in pursuit. Huh? Seeing Monkey fly away and Yellowbrow chasing him, Sandy knew he had to help his friend, so he rode off in the same direction that Monkey had flown. Not far ahead of Sandy, Monkey landed in a clearing, with Yellowbrow still after him. Release my companions! I'll capture the four of you! After I've made you my prisoners, I'll make your master my slave! I'll never let you do it! Monkey was experiencing the power of Yellowbrow's secret weapon, the magic symbols. <laughs> Got you! Let me out of here or I'll smash my way out! <laughs> Try! Go ahead! <laughs> Meanwhile, Sandy had arrived near the clearing and could hear Yellowbrow's laughter as Monkey struggled to free himself from the symbols. Save your energy, Monkey! There's absolutely nothing you can do to escape! The power of Yellowbrow has defeated you! Sandy sneaked up behind Yellowbrow and recited a spell to put him to sleep. Magic slumber, make this villain sleep. Sandy, is that you? Yes, it is. I've cast a spell over Yellowbrow. He'll be asleep for a little while. Hurry! Break open the symbols and set me free! Right, here goes. <laughs> I didn't even dent the symbols, and Yellowbrow will wake up soon. What now, Monkey? We'd better get out of here before he wakes up! <clears throat> I'll have to roll you. You're too heavy to carry. Meanwhile, Yellowbrow's henchmen had locked Tripitaka and Pigsy in the temple, and were now rushing to help their master. Seeing that a sleeping spell had been cast over Yellowbrow, Roundback gave him a magic remedy to wake him up. Monkeys and the symbols, where are they? I caught a glimpse of his bearded friend rolling him away. <laughs> well, I can't have gotten far. Those symbols are heavy. I'm going after them. <laughs> Using his magic powers, Yellowbrow streaked through the sky. He caught up to Sandy and Monkey near the river. I've got you now! <laughs> oh. There was only one way to escape. <gasps> and that was into the river. You'll be back. You can't breathe underwater. But little did Yellow Brown know that they could breathe underwater. And so they were safe. Sandy found a quiet spot on the river bottom to put down the symbols. We've escaped Yellowbrow. Now let's decide on a plan of action. Well, we have to rescue the Master and Pigsy. Yes, we do. But to rescue them, we have to defeat Yellowbrow. And I can't imagine how we're going to be able to defeat him as long as you're trapped in those symbols. Then you're just going to have to find a way to get me out of here, Sandy. The question is how? Just try smashing it. Hurry! No, Monkey, I tried that already and it didn't work. The only way to get you out of the symbols is by forcing Yellowbrow to open them himself. But how will we do that? Hey, I have an idea. 
Carry me back to Yellow Brown. Carry you back? Why? Because we're going to pin him under the symbols. I get it. In exchange for your releasing him from under the symbols, he'll have to set you free. I have brought you here from the temple, pig, because your friends are hiding in the river. Call them to the surface. But if I do, they'll become your prisoners, just like me. No, 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 pig. You've got it all wrong. I want to invite the four of you to a delicious feast. Oh, well, that changes everything. Hey, monkey, Sandy, come to the surface of the river. We're going to have a feast. Hmm, you're not coming. Does that mean the feast is off? You know, pig, you're starting to irritate me. Now call your friends again, and you'd better hope they appear. Right. Uh, monkey, Sandy, would you please come to the surface before Yellow Brown does something I regret? Hey, look. There they are. <laughs> As Sandy carried the symbols ashore, Monkey used magic to make himself heavy. It was part of his plan to trap Yellowbrow. <laughs> well, well, isn't this an amusing situation? One pilgrim is trapped inside the symbols, and a second pilgrim is pinned under the symbols. Now you are all my prisoners, and you'll stay that way forever. Pigsy, knock down Yellowbrow! <laughs> <laughs> With Yellowbrow caught under the symbols, his henchman Roundback attacked Sandy. <laughs> Roundback knocked the weapon from Sandy's hands, then used his chain to capture Sandy. Next, Roundback turned his attention to Yellowbrow. I have for you, Master. You can pull all you like, but you won't for your master from under the symbols as long as Monkey is inside the symbols using magic to pin him down. Guards, help me! Let me out of here, Yellow Bro! After the trouble I took to catch you, never! Then I'll make myself heavier! Uh, well, have you changed your mind yet? No, I haven't, Monkey! Fine, then you'll stay trapped under the symbols forever! Yes, and you'll stay trapped inside them forever. So it would appear, Monkey, that until the end of time, you and I shall remain locked in this stalemate. But if you release Monkey, he will free you. Then the two of you can battle one on one. And I'll win for sure. All right, it's a deal. When I count to three, each one of you will let the other one go free. Is that understood? Yes, understood. One, <gasps> two, and... Three! Symbols open wide! <laughs> Monkey and Yellowbrow leaped into the sky, but Monkey's foot was still caught in the symbols, which meant he could not defend himself effectively against Yellowbrow's attacks. So he used his magic to create a diversion. And while Yellowbrow was fending off the two fake monkeys, the real monkey was able to make good his escape. <laughs> <laughs>